which I completely forgot, I went on doing, and therefore he went to prison. Again, same thing happened in 26. They then told him, you know, what you are doing is not correct. Something else has to be changed, and he didn't do it, and he had an accident. He himself says that. Therefore, <coughs> nature gives us, even a man like Sri though, hints, hey, do change. But we don't change. And the axe falls. Then we complain about pain. Whom do you blame? No, but, but there are sometimes, uh, I mean, the uh, advice of the goal of the travel from life. That is, uh, this life is not something. You know, you have to be brief in your questions. Other people are also there. So you have to be brief. And I can't answer. I am not here to answer all the world's questions, sir. I'm an ordinary mortal man. You will remember that. No. Well, I mean, uh, let us see if you answer this question. What I'm saying is... Hey, I can't hear you. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, some of... Hey. Hey, uh, yeah. Uh, okay. I think this is kind of disturbing. We just speak louder. Okay, than. yeah. The, uh, some, some of the persons, you know, without naming the names, uh, hold the view of life that it is something to be avoided, built on from the life as such. And, uh, uh, you know, they say just uh, worship God and uh, don't, uh, you know, do this thing, don't do that thing. That sort of thing. I mean, where there is a advice and complete withdrawal from life, and that somehow has been there in India. Uh, so you know, please be brief, sir. Please, you know, you can't give me a lecture because I, 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 I think he's asking what's your question. Yeah, yeah, question. Yeah. question. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I have to talk yeah. to This question is very simple. Let me try. Uh, he okay. says, some view is life is very difficult. It is supposed to be negated. You worship gods to negate the life. It's the Buddhistic view of life. Life is difficult. Yeah, I, is I that true? Said, is it immediately after the session, he can have direct one-on-one -on -one word. Shiva had a question. I, I had a simple question. <coughs> sit, sit, just ask the okay. question. Hello again. I'm really impressed by whatever little I heard from you. I have heard about you, uh, but unfortunately, I have not seen your face. And I wanted to get the books that to translate it. I asked Mutilal Banasi Das. They couldn't find it. I don't know why. And they, so I don't have them. But my question is simple that I'll ask later. In reading all the translating Rig Veda and all of the Vedas, writing so many books, do you, have, do you get a sense of historical, historical sense that this could have happened sometime? Uh, such some events like the Shraddha Yagya. That's right, the battle of ten kings. Could it happen in your thinking? Are this involved? What is it? By reading all these various requisite translations, the Sraj battles. The Sraj sense of history, historically. You get a historical perspective by reading this way. First of all, Rigveda, I did not say, has any historical perspective. The answer is no. Before then, that's my clear answer. It's historical, it is, a, it, is a, it is a spiritual document, it is a psychological document, but not a historical document. That's it. But do you get some historical sense? See, always you can get something that, that 10 and a half thousand mantras, 20,000 mantras are there. All the, for example, all the plants and goes, the names are there. Obviously, they are all useful to you. Historia or not, more than history. The health probably is much more useful. How are the strategy? I oh, no, no. You have to stop question. One question is one person. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, it's it's not it's a place, you know. I have not come here. I have not come here at your request, at your money. My money, I have come here. Remember that. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I Yeah, remember that. Yes. <laughs> this side. On the right side. Uh, okay. Uh, first and then after you. Okay, go ahead. Um, of the four Vedas, yeah. do you believe that they were sequential in composition or compilation one after another? And no, ma'am. <clears throat> see, compilation means the, the whole body of mantras they regrouped it so, before there is no question of Atharvaveda being late and Rigveda being earlier. That is not that is that's not what Sri Aravindu says. That's all okay. I can say. But mainly the Rugveda has three notes and the Samaveda has seven notes. 
So is there any C, kind C, of sequential? Because Samaveda was designed for music, it has more notes. By definition, it is music. Therefore, it has more notes. It is a big deal about it. Yeah, the other gentleman at the back, you asked a question. <coughs> Someone behind? Yes. There was somebody else asking the question. Okay. Can I speak louder right from here? Yeah, yeah. I can. Ah, okay. I, I don't know whether I may be asking you any sensible good question, but my question to you is, when was the concept of God introduced in Rig Veda? Sir, it's not a bad idea for you people to understand God is a English word. It has its own connotations. We don't have it. You better go and read the English, original English words which the God has. Very simple. For yeah. example, if you want to get there and go to the web, for example, there's an entire book by name Balaganga Adaranatha. It discusses all the problems of Hindus, how they take the words from other languages, they don't understand what it is, they go on using God, 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 God. But the point is, God has no place in Indian history. We are that even I use the word Deva, the idea, the source of light and darkness. The idea of creation among the God is used as for us. My, my intent was not the, the word G-O-D. No, don't worry, no. I give an answer. My, I can't explain it. No, thank you. <laughs> I think uh, maybe I can ask him on his behalf. But how about, I think he wanted the issuer, the idea of uh, somebody higher authority. Is that, is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. <coughs> is that, where does... I think, well, nice one. Yeah, I think he is close there. Just close there. Yes, Dr. <laughs> my, my question is about Upavedas. Uh, what is their real significance? For example, uh, uh, Artha Shastra being part of Atharva Veda uh, as an Upaveda. Artha Shastra? No, it is. It is. It is. It is. So the Upaveda concept itself, are they attached Upaveda. to the Veda? Upavedas. Upavedas. Atharva Upa Veda, yeah. Upavedas. Upavedas. Veda and Upa means near. The uh, later books were composed and the further more details on chanting, more details on grammar, they are the Upa Vedas. The thing to do with this Veda, when we say Veda, only four. Later people added more books for explanation, for example. How do you chant properly? There is Shiksha. Then how do you, what is the grammar? Vyakarna. These are all the Upa Vedas. Much, much later books. How do we know? All the Vedic mantras are in most of the verses. They have their own style. If you bother to look at the original text, you can easily make out whether it is the Veda mantra or not. It doesn't require Einsteinian genius to figure out the different sexual book Veda. Everybody says they are much later books, that's all. But one other question was asked of uh, oh, just one second. One other question was asked of me. Where his books can be obtained from? Yes. All his books are available from S A K S I. Sakshi is the Sri Arbindo Kapali Shastri. Hey, 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 hey. Website is V E D A H dot com. W W W V E D A H Veda. Add the word H. V E D A H dot com. If you go there. How to order? International people can order that book. You can directly order our books online. And the Veda has 1000 pages of text explaining so many other things about them. Therefore, V E D A H dot com. W W W. V E D A H Veda dot com. Question. My question is, you are coming from a scientific community. In general, there is no link between science and spirituality. And there are very few people who understand both of them. I'm glad to see that you are one of them. Can you explain to us, is there a Rosetta Stone, if that has to exist, that would link spirituality to science? Is that something that you can do or is it something that people have attempted to do in the past? It has not happened. Yes. Have you finished with your question? Yes. Have you yes, finished yes, with your yes, question? Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Yes, I'm appreciative. Thank you very much for that. You see, this, what my point is, unfortunately, this uh, spirituality and science are the two words which use an easy option for all people 
who don't have better things to do to see whatever opinions they have and drain them up and get a government grant. That's all. Right? Yeah. No, I tell you, I'm very serious about it. This idea has to be what, first of all, before studying physics, we have to put an idea, hey, what is physics? Before biology, we say molecular, molecular biology. So spirituality, there is no boundary. You can say anything you want. And science, of course, most of the people don't know what is science. Remember, for science, hard science, I am not speaking political science and sociology, and for hard science, we want verifiable experiments and evidence which can be seen by our senses. That is science, hard science. Okay, so let us not vary the idea. Science means the hard science. Therefore, unfortunately, that sort of knowledge, all the things I have told you, the instant healing and all that sort of thing, it doesn't come under science. Therefore, my argument is science has very little to say. If you put a big circle like all the spiritual ideas, science occupies a small circle where we can do more precise things and other things. That's my argument. So, the realm of spirituality is a big, big, big circle and the realm of science is a small circle. If you want to work upon it, nobody prevents you from working. But the idea is everybody should be, you know, the problem with human nature is we want everybody to solve our problems. That's the idea. You don't want to learn yourself and solve your problems. No. You want me to ask the question, you have a problem with spirit and spirit, you want me to answer it. Unfortunately, sir, that is not the way the world works. If you want to answer a question, you have to put in your effort. And thank you. No, I can tell answer questions. Oh, yes. I don't, don't, don't get scared. Uh, <laughs> 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 Please. I can't praise everybody's question. You have to understand that. Oh, yes. <laughs> no, I, I think they are a little confused and blame it on our poor audio system. And sometimes he uh, is getting... Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So go ahead. Just, to give, just, just for a change, I'll ask you a different question. Go to, right uh, go to his That's right. 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 Earlier, I used to ask him to write it. Which, which year did you do your PhD right. in Harvard? Come here. Come right. I think he wants to know when did you do your PhD in Harvard? Which year? 19, I finished my thesis in 65. In 66, of course, there is a gap because of the 66, I officially got my degree. And uh, what was the subject matter? Introduction to pattern recognition. It is pattern recognition is when you take all the landsat satellites, where do you find the corn, where do you find the houses and that sort of thing. That is this uh, pattern recognition. It's a big science now. I got the famous medal there. Yes. Huh. Good. I like that very much. Thank you. <laughs> you got it. Two questions only. So <laughs> please. Anyone else? Well, I was stunned. Uh, someone has a question, I know that. Yes, see? You, come near, come near. Uh, you got another chance. <laughs> this one is simple. Uh, are your lectures available on the internet, like YouTube or something like that? You, your lectures are available on internet or YouTube? You definitely, very much. All, first of all, all the things I talked about are written as books as well. Vedic knowledge in modern context is available as a book and they are available as CDs. You go to my website, you can download and order. Is there a, uh, is there a YouTube or anything? In the no, not in YouTube. Not, not, nothing not in YouTube. YouTube. But they are available as books. CDs. And this is every week I deliver lectures uh, every week and they are, they are on the free actually. And we can order your CDs. Or the, for example, Vedic knowledge in modern context. Is available as a book called yes, as a CD also. All the information I gave, they are already available in small books, 80 okay. page books. They are available. There is nothing I have found here which I have not written in detail, answering all the potential questions that can arise. So we'll have the last question from. Yeah, it's not really a question. I just want you to at least the people who are here, that what is the importance of implementing Vedas in our lives? If you can just give a little... I don't understand your question. But in our Narayan Swami translating this. What is the... Imp no, just I just want you to give a little two lines that what is the importance of Vedas to implement in our daily lives? Ma'am, the 
I can always give. Uh, for example, a daily life you can interpret uh, in this verse, you know. Chodayet uh, Saraswati Mantra, for example. Chodayetri Sukhatanam, Chukanti Sumatinam, Yajyam Dhade Saraswati, Maho Arna Saraswati, Prachetayati Chetuna, Deyo Vishwa Vidojati. Much better is one earlier I gave. Our whole life in this world is climbing from one peak to another. You came onto high school level, then you want to finish the college level. Vyakta sano ho sano maruhati bhuri aspashta kartvam. If you are always at the bottom, you would never go up. And you shouldn't think you are the only person in the world. No help is coming. No. Indram artam chetati. Indra comes there with your help. Not only theoretical help, but also vishti Practical people will come and help you also. Before the idea you are all alone and that sort of thing. Solving all the problems in the world, that's a delusion. Thank you. I think there is one more question here. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, are there any individuals or institutions who are doing somewhat similar work complementing your work? Either in India or around the world? Sorry to say, sir, you may think I am very egoistic, but such animals doesn't exist. Okay. Such life <laughs> forms doesn't exist. Okay. Okay, so, okay, Kankar Sahab, last question. <laughs> I have a question, because you translated the Vedas in this one, and uh, you definitely have overall contemplated, understood the knowledge. So my question is that uh, these Vedas, all these shloka, do they relate to this uh, happening of the Kalju, which we are in present, or in the previous Treta, Satyoga, Bhushman, and uh, with the related one, that was very, I used to, I hear that Bhagwan Rama ruled for 5,000 years, Vishwam is prayed for 10,000 years, they lived for so many thousand years, we only live for 100 years. So I'm just, it's a different kind of What is the question? What is the question? What is it? <laughs> Actually, I think what he is asking that. No, exactly what I do is I ask people to write their questions, not just teachers. That way they understand. Okay. Yeah. As best as best as I understood the question that I am going to put forth to you, does the Veda say anything about this today's happenings and the difficulties? How do the solutions to these problems is the problems you create obviously the Veda is not going to help people create their own problems. So thank you. <laughs> you have the last question. <laughs> My question was that why it is not being translated in other languages like Hindi, which is most popular all over India and all over. He wants translation into Hindi and other languages. <laughs> Sir, if people are coming forward, warm bodies with a little bit of knowledge are coming back, very happy to help them out. So please find the people who can translate and also people who can translate correctly from the by English to the Hindi language. We are exceedingly happy to support it. If uh, there are students who want to do PhD in one of these related subjects, does your institute have a facility for them to come and spend a month or three months, six months like that? A possibility is there, but we don't give any you that is the funds or place to stay and that sort of thing they could spend some time with me no problem as a matter of fact we are considered as the advanced research institute of the university of Tumkur for carrying our advanced studies we of course can if you want UP at this but we don't we have better business to do but if people want to come people have come to me not from the blessed united states but people have come to me from mexico people have come spent about three months with me from people have come from slovenia spent some three weeks with me Therefore, people have come all parts of the world, uh, spend some time without asking pray prayer questions. They come and say, what we are interested, they go, what can you do for us? Of course, we do that. But of course, we don't really have give you give them any so five-star hotel treatment and that sort of They have to find their own place to stay and other things such that. Yeah, no problem. You have done it. Uh, with that, uh